Welcome back to Nights into Dreams. We're gonna start it with Splash Garden. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I should probably explain what why they're here. I didn't even think to do that, but well, I guess that's because the cutscenes didn't actually show up when I first started the game. Um, my bad. But the reason that Clarice and Elliot are here is because, well, <laughs> they're having nightmares because they are having some issues. Basically, the deal with Elliot is he doesn't really have much confidence in himself as a basketball player because he loves to play basketball. But uh, as y'all will see with the cutscene or opening cinematic, ah, you know he got he kind of got picked on, and that that really did hurt his confidence, and that manifested into nightmares. And so now he's here to fight the nightmares and hopefully build his confidence. The thing with Clarice is she has stage fright. She, you know, she loves to sing and she wants to basically get the star role of an upcoming uh, performance. But as I said, she has stage fright and that manifested into nightmares. And so she's here in order to conquer that with the help of knights, that is. And yeah, these areas that we're actually going through, it takes the shape of a person's heart. So I guess Elliot likes to be in, I don't know, water, <laughs> we're gonna say that. And I guess with Clarice, she, the, she likes to go outside, go to the museum or whatnot a soft museum. I guess I could represent how, you know, frail she is. Um, I, I'm kind of indifferent to Journey of Dreams into a sense, but I will give it credit. It kind of explains a few things that aren't really explained well in this. Because storytelling, not that big a deal in this game. They try to make it a big deal in the next game, but it's kind of all over the place. But it does a couple of things, right? I'll give Journey of Dreams that but again, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is into dreams. Ouch! And I'm getting my butt handed to me by these stationary nightmares. <laughs> like they're not really moving. If they are, they're barely moving. Okay. Yeah, this music track is really catchy too. I like it. My. Huh. I only got 19 chips. You should get 20. Huh. Oh, the gimmick with the water bubble is uh, you go in a straight line, to quote unquote, if you go at, at an angle, you'll come out at an angle. You basically cannot move in the, those water bubbles. So try to go in straight and you'll have no problem. Try to go in, ah, I shouldn't have gotten that. Go in at an angle, you're gonna kind of be bouncing all over the place, just saying. Okay, there we go. And what else? What else am I forgetting to mention? Oh, Knights is a nightmare, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he's actually. Damn, son! D. Okay, I might have to redo this level. But Knights is actually a nightmare created by Wiseman the Wicked, who is basically the ruler of all nightmares. Um, he created two level two nightmare. Well, actually. I think Nice is considered a level one. Yeah, he's a level one nightmare. Along with another one who we will face off against later. Won't say who, but uh, it's pretty obvious who. But for those who haven't seen it, I, I won't spoil it. Anyway, Knights, I guess, just didn't want to conquer everything. He just, he, li why keep saying he? It literally just wants to fly around and be lazy. That's it. One of many times I said he without realizing it. Like, I, I honestly can't help but say that. You know, it's been confirmed that Nice is definitely an it by the um, producer of the game. But anyway, Nice just doesn't want to have that. But however, Wiseman the Wicked, he's still going to try going on through his plans. Is Wiseman a it or a guy? I mean, his voice basically screams. Male. I don't. I don't. I honestly don't know. 
So Nice is actually rebelling against Wiseman the Wicked by basically throwing his plans like, screw you, Dad, I don't want to do it. And that's the gist of it. I don't even know if Will and... Not Will, that's another child. I don't even know if Elliot and Clarice are aware that Nice is actually a nightmare. Be interesting. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but eh. Anyway, let me fly back. Mm -hmm. Okay. B. All right, I still can't get over that D. I can't believe I took. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten that low. Christ. Hmm. Okay, that's the E country. Okay, here we go. There are transformations that are basically depend on where, what level you're at. Like in this one, Nice will transform into a dolphin. Got extra points. And then you'll go into this first person view. I kind of like this, actually. It looks really nice. It switches things up a bit. And then once Nice exit the exits the water, it will revert back to its normal form. And yeah. They kind of expand upon this in the second one in that you can actually transform into certain things at any time but again i'll just say that for when we actually get there but then again this ooh, 21 links <laughs> then again this being relegated to only this part it's not so bad not like i need to transform into a mermaid thing in the air that'd be stupid right right Okay, what mirror am I on? I think, I think it's the last mirror because it, the last mirror always ends off with some kind of hurrah. And I honestly don't have much time, so I'm just gonna... Okay, I went down for some reason. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I get. An A. Chill, buddy. That'll probably... Yeah, that will soften the blow the D will usually make. Okay, so... Oh, hi, Betty. Basic, this is kind of like an obstacle course. You basically push her to the end. And yeah. She is known as a level 2 nightmare. Her and all the bosses, except for one boss that we will fight in... Will's, not Will, Elliot's third, um, third dream. Okay. But yeah, be gotta break her through the breakable parts, obviously. If you don't, she'll bounce all, all over the place, and it happens. Now, the Sonic the Hedgehog skins basically copies this fight to an extent. I've actually never played it before, but I've seen screens, and She's basically replaced with Eggman. It looks hilarious. I wish I could play it, but unfortunately, I have no means to do so. And I gotta be. Woohoo. Alright, man, these parts are announcing out to like 10 minutes long. The affection. This is gonna be ridiculous, because I know for a fact the parts for Journey of Dreams are gonna be almost three times as long. <laughs> Not even kidding. That game is a different beast on its own, but more on that later. But yep, yeah, in the next part, this is actually my favorite for Elliot. Yeah, Frozen Bell is what we'll get started with. And hold on, let me just make sure A, B, B, B. Yeah. Heads up, you, the ranking doesn't actually... Well, actually, I think the ranking does matter for the final dream. But the final dream is so easy to A rank, it's not even funny. I'm, I, I'll probably do it without even trying. But anyway, we will get started with Frozen Bell in the next part. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you then. Take care.